Welcome to AIM Under 5, a series of video briefs produced by the Maine AIM program. The topic of this AIM Under 5 is AIM for Student Transition. Regardless of the path a student takes, it's likely that less intensive and less frequent supports will be available after leaving high school. To prepare for this transition, students need opportunities and practice to be self-aware, independent, and particularly for students with disabilities, flexible. Transition Services is defined by the 2004 Reauthorization of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDA 04, as a coordinated set of activities for a child with a disability that is designed to be within a results-oriented process that is focused on improving the academic and functional achievement of the child with a disability to facilitate the child's movement from school to post-school activities and is based upon the individual child's needs taking into account the child's strengths, preferences, and interests. Transitioning from high school to post-secondary or vocational education settings presents challenges for all students, and students with disabilities have even more considerations to make. For one thing, the law that has guided their education program through high school no longer applies. Special education support and services provided under IDEA are replaced by the Americans with Disabilities Act, or ADA, Accommodations under the ADA protect against discrimination and guarantee equal access to education. The law, however, does not provide for additional services that students may have received in K-12. Another challenge for students is to self-advocate. In post-secondary settings, it's the student's responsibility to self-disclose a disability and to request accommodations. While families and educators can support students in the months leading up to the transition, Students need to be prepared to use their accommodations independently and to communicate with disability support personnel as needed. A challenge that particularly affects families relates to confidentiality and student privacy laws. Without their child's consent, parents and guardians will not have access to information, including disability services. Finally, post-secondary academic and related demands are typically greater than those experienced in high school. Students who aren't prepared often struggle to succeed. Academic accommodations in the post-secondary setting are designed for equal access. Disability support providers work interactively with students to determine reasonable accommodations based on a combination of documentation and interviews with the student, family, and relevant specialists. Typical accommodations include audio recording of lectures, note-taking services, accessible classroom furniture, extended time on exams, a distraction-reduced exam setting, use of assistive technology, or AT, and text materials in alternative format. This final example, alternative format, is the post-secondary term for what we call Accessible Instructional Materials, or AIM, in K-12. AIM is a provision of IDEA and thus appears in Section 3D of Maine's IEP form. Teams are required to consider a student's need for AIM as part of their special education program. AIM consists of four specialized formats, known as alternative formats, by post-secondary disability support providers, digital text, audio, large print, and braille. Regardless of a student's age, qualifying for AIM requires a need related to a reading disorder, blindness or low vision, or a physical condition that impairs the ability to use standard print materials, such as holding a book or turning its pages. So the question becomes, how can families and educators of K-12 students who need AIM assist them in preparing for a post-secondary alternative format accommodation? First, if you haven't already, follow the four steps to AIM to determine students' needs. The main AIM program has numerous resources and offers free technical assistance to families and schools. The website is main-aim.org. This is a critical first step because students who need AIM in K-12 will need alternative formats after high school. Students who need AIM should lead the selection of the specialized format that works best for them. Based on their need, allow them to try at least two if not all four formats of digital text, audio, large print, or braille. If possible, provide opportunities for students to use AIM on more than one device. For example, if the school distributes tablets, give the student access to AIM on a laptop. This will prepare the student to use AIM across devices as they advance from school to school and ultimately to post-secondary settings. 
Bookshare and Learning Ally are two prominent organizations that provide K-12 and post-secondary textbooks and related curriculum materials in digital text and human narrated audio formats, respectively. In addition to organizational memberships, both Bookshare and Learning Ally offer individual memberships for qualifying students. To prepare students who need AIM for the process of receiving alternative formats in post-secondary settings, make sure they leave high school with a record of their use of AIM. In the IEP, mark yes to the Section 3D question regarding AIM and clearly address the student's need for it. Section 8 of the IEP, Post-Secondary Transition Plan, is required once a student reaches 9th grade or turns age 16, whichever comes first. In this section, include AIM in the description of transition services. The Summary of Performance, also required under IDEA 04, is another important form for documenting a student's need for AIM. The two most relevant sections are 2, Summary of Functional Performance, and 3, Recommendations to assist the student in meeting post-secondary goals. Finally, teach self-advocacy skills to K-12 students by including them in decisions regarding their educational programming, promoting self-awareness, independence, and flexibility, and preparing them to articulate their need for alternative formats when requesting accommodations in their post-secondary setting. For technical assistance, please contact the Main AIM program. We serve schools throughout the state and look forward to the opportunity to support you. Our website is main-aim.org. Our email address is info at main-aim.org or you can call us at 207-621-3195. Thank you for watching this AIM Under 5 video brief by the Main AIM program. We hope it was helpful on your journey to successful AIM implementation.